back to another video episode from the Veg Grower Podcast. It's been a fantastic weekend weather-wise and I've got so much done. So I'm going to pot on these uh, sweet peppers, sweet California they're called. And I, I've noticed the slugs have been out them or snails I think. So uh, they're here somewhere. So anyway, I'm going to get those potted on. Um, during my first clip, I'm just going to show you um, I've had a bit of a tidy up out here and uh, I haven't actually shown the veg patch out here at home for a while so uh, I thought I'd show you that and uh, show you a few improvements I've made and various things so uh, let's pull out of them now and I'll get on and pop these on okay so I haven't shown you the uh, actual veg patch at home for a while so let's just have a quick look now that's the leaf mob bin you saw me filling at the beginning of the winter, in the autumn. Uh, that was full, and now it's gone down to that much, so slowly rotting down. Uh, I've got a few pots there that are in need of a bit of attention soon, which we'll worry about over the next week, I think. Um, there's some overwintered onions in there, they're not doing too bad. I lifted it up to get in there to do some, some weeding. I've actually got another net over the back that's blown over. Uh, all the water butts, this is one, two, three, and the fourth one down the end, they're all full of water there, so that, that's good to go. And that compost bin there, um, I've recently got, it was donated by a friend, and uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be put to use. Um, over there, there used to be the sycamore tree, that's now gone and it's letting in a lot more light already, so uh, quite happy with that. Uh, what, see, this is a veg patch area, Just I've just been hoeing it and keeping it clear, but I've um, extended the chicken run. Now, it's modular, this extension, so I can keep taking it up and off. Um, but I'm still in the... Uh, chicken isolation zone so the, they've kind of got to stay inside so I've just <laughs> added this just to give it a bit more give them a bit more room and then on the top here is some of the pots of rosemary sage raspberry I've put those up over this weekend and now uh, it should be good to go. Give them good water and hopefully they'll grow on and then I'll be uh, giving them to my auntie to sell for charity. Okay, so uh, that, that's how the veg patch is looking. Chickens are a lot happier with that little extension on their, on their run. Um, I, I, I like to let them out when I'm around. Unfortunately, with death row in the uh, bird flu, it's um, impossible to do. So the extension is just making life a bit more bearable for them, bless them. Oh, sad, stupid thing is, if I was two streets over that way, I'll be out of the area. So I know I should technically cover that extension and what have you, but I'm probably doing the wrong thing. I'm anyway, I'm gonna, now going to sow some, some squash seeds. Uh, butternut squash these are them and uh, I don't have much luck with these normally so I'm giving them a try this year again different variety I normally go for hunter but that's the seeds all I'm going to do is put them in my my pots that I normally use with uh, seed sowing compost and perlite and then just push them in that way I'm going to do the whole packet is eight seeds we'll see what, what how we get on with those and then uh, see what we get with that throughout the year so I'm gonna do that now I'm now I'm gonna show you how I make comfrey feed um, I'll probably do it different to what a lot of others people do it and I'm sure every allotment tier out there has heard of comfrey and, and its benefits I love the stuff so uh, I'll put that clip up now and then uh, we'll come back afterwards and discuss a bit more. 
well, comfrey plants are well into growth, so I've picked a few leaves, like this, and I'm going to make some out of my comfrey feed, which I use this contraption for. I've had this for a few years now, and it's pretty good. Now I've already filled this up with water, and this bit here, in this little cage, if I can get it open, There we go. I'm just going to fill with these comfrey leaves, like so. Work that back on there. Hopefully, without any bits falling out. Doesn't have to be too perfect. There we go, clip that shut. Now this goes up and down so you can agitate it when it's in here, which is what I do. Clip that lid back on, I'll give it a few pumps just to start the edge sty going, and we'll leave that for a couple of weeks and that'll give me some nice comfrey feed to use on various things around the, around the plot. When, it, when, I, when it's ready it's just a case of opening this tap, collect it into here and then add it to uh, water to, to dilute it down. So that's how I make my comfrey feed. Okay so that's how I make comfrey. So, or oh, comfrey feed I should say. Um, when, when, that, when that's ready I, I'll siphon it off and dilute it down and use it to water all my plants in and that should produce good flowers in theory which uh, good flowers will produce good fl fruits that's a that's the theory anyway and again we'll see how that gets on over over the year I'm now going to sow some beetroot now I'm sowing beetroot perfect free these are just going to go in in pots um, up here, they're not going to be under heat this, this lot, just out in the open, but hopefully you can see that that is, I'll bring it a bit closer, that's the seed. The interesting thing we, I find with beetroot is that's not one plant, that's not one seed, it's a cluster of seeds, so several plants in there. So um, you can get several plants out of one seed in theory. I'll be um, Oh yeah, I'm going to sow those now, pot them up here, and uh, when they're ready we'll uh, thin them out over throughout the year and move them on. I've got one more clip to show you, and that's uh, the food I've harvested from the allotment this week, which I'm really pleased about. So I'm going to pull that up now uh, while I sow those, and then I'll come back and uh, one last thing to show you. <laughs> Well, so this has been another beautiful day down the allotment today. Um, but you saw me in the beginning doing some trimming, made some comfrey feed. I've done a lot of weeding. I've done, I've set some paths up on the new plot, which I'll show you in a later date. I just thought I'd quickly show you what I've harvested this week. That'd be a interesting thing. Now, oh, I should say food I'm going home with. Here I've got twelve eggs. You're probably wondering why why 12 eggs when I've got two chickens at home and none down the allotment. My neighbour actually gave these to me um, in exchange for some of the perpetual spinach that I have over here. But I didn't actually want the eggs, I said it was fine, but she insisted. So, yeah, <laughs> I think tonight it'll be an omelette or sink. As I said, I've got some spinach. Loads of that growing at the moment, so not too bad. Here I've got some leeks, these are the last last lot, so I get those used up. These I'm really pleased with, I know there's only three, obviously asparagus, 
but it's um, the first time I've harvested asparagus really pleased with it um, I'm not going to go too mad this year but I just can resist these few I've got plenty more growing and, and the first of a rhubarb the first early rhubarb so all in all not bad not bad plenty of food for me and the wife keep us going for the week especially with these eggs we've got so many eggs now so yeah lovely yeah so all that food the asparagus especially I'm pleased with um, so early on April so far brilliant can't believe we're in April but again getting that much food early on I'm really pleased with for me anyway so one last thing to show you and then uh, I'm going to close down and that's uh, some seeds that I received in the post on Saturday and I'm going to sow these in just a second from Heinz tomato seeds I've already opened the packet because it didn't feel like there was any seeds in there but there is there's a few probably about 10 seeds in there and the idea basically I got these in the post um, Muddy Boots mentioned it on his show uh, I've I've had them in the past though if I'm honest the idea is um, they send out these seeds you enter a mailing list I guess would be the right thing and if you're successful you receive a pack of seeds you take photos and you sow them and you and take photos and share them to the Facebook group and if you're lucky you get your tomatoes made into a jar of tomato ketchup by Hones so I thought I'd give it a try I'm not expecting a huge amount of luck with the uh, tomato ketchup but give it a try I do make my own tomato ketchup from time to time anyway so uh, if I don't will I can still make ketchup but I just thought that'd be an interesting thing to do so I'm gonna do that now and uh, make the rest of this wonderful weather we're having at the moment so um, yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, any comments leave us down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you enjoyed this video give it a like it's been a lot of small clips I know but the way it is at the moment and I will see you again next week